What's up, everyone? So, because YouTube definitely needed another Let's Play, I thought I'd make one. Um, with the specific goal of, you know, just making the coolest uh, medieval town that I could. Uh, not playing to beat Minecraft. I'm not playing to kill the most mobs. I suck at PvP anyway. But uh, I'm here to build things. Because Minecraft is a beautiful game. So uh, I even started with a bonus chest, because um, this is not about uh, surviving anything. This is just about having fun in the world of Minecraft. You know, when the world burns immediately, that's a good sign. If I die within the first 10 seconds, that's fine. Well, I've mined out the uh, stone bricks and mossy stone bricks from this uh, ruined portal and uh, got some uh, some early game building blocks. We'll uh, probably take down a tree or two here and uh, yeah, we'll get to building our starter house. The night is coming. Yeah, so we got sheep around, we got chickens around. We got some awesome gray stallions around. Uh, that is quite the forest fire. Okay. I'm sorry, sheep. It has to be this way. I so I don't have to go too far to start breeding more sheep. All right, so, you know, first night, no starter house. First night has a bed. What more could you possibly need in life? For a good place to kind of start a little bit of a village. This is a pretty awesome seed. If I do say so. Nice scenery with the mountains and the dark oak forest and everything. Feels very fanciful to me. I like it. Hmm. I am liking the lay of this land. Just trying to figure out where to start. So I am trying to think about building a little bit of a, a town. Oh, okay. We got a big mountain over here. I'm just going to go check this guy out real quick. Probably going to spend most of this day. Ooh. Kind of exploring, but... Man, this little... So the guy right here is like already got a moat. We could just just about make that a fortress. Okay, so after some thought, here's what we do. That really cool spot in the mountains over there, that becomes a fortress. This area where I'm standing becomes the foundation of the village. This cool little pile over here maybe becomes a, a wizard's tower. We do enchanting and stuff up in there someplace. And then this lower section here becomes... Uh, agriculture and fields and livestock and all of the crops. Um, I think that's what we do. So let's, uh, let's start by planting my sugar cane. And for now, I'm not going to worry even about making this too pretty. Or pretty. I don't want my house to be very, at least my starter house to be very far from these farms. So Maybe we go down here somewhere? What if we use one of these little little hills right here? Yeah, let's use this little chunk of mountain. We'll kind of uh, square this off, build this up a little bit, and that'll be kind of the platform for our first house. Yeah, I think we'll use kind of this little, this little section of hill. Maybe we do a main house here and almost a tower over here if we take that tree down. Sort of separate things out a little bit. All right, night number two. Okay, so I think we have two trees that need to come down. This one on the back, kind of on the on the little lake side, and this one over here. So I think those are going to come down, and I need to develop a little bit more of a uh, stone mine from somewhere to. Uh, get myself some blocks to start putting together this house. 
So I think for now, for stone, I'm just going to start maybe just making a little bit of a basement for up here. Um, it's hard to envision where I'd want a set of steps, though. Maybe along this short walk. Let's say this is where we go down. I don't want to do too much in one building. I think it's the world becomes really fun when you have to sort of move about and go to different buildings and areas to perform the different tasks of actually playing the game of Minecraft. So I, th I don't want to put too much downstairs, but I think... I think realistically I can do an upper layer and then sort of hollow out this lower section and do sort of a dugout underneath. I think that might look very nice. So let me just figure out if I just come down here, sort of what layer, what level would a, a basement dugout need to be on? Let's see, this should be the other edge. There it is. Just leave this open to the outside world for the moment, just so I know that this is the other side of the hill. Okay, I'm gonna start some stone smelting down here. I'd like to do much of this house in stone bricks. I just think it's an awesome block and uh, so let's see if we can get that happening. A few blocks like this to make a sort of a, just an entry, not really a porch, but just an entry. We can come underneath and fill in with dirt. Let's think about some, some farming for a minute. Getting up and getting going around this little pond. A little bit of an inefficient use of space, but I think if we go four here, just get a little bit of sand here to make some glass for some windows around the house. I think that'll make things look a little, a little nicer. So I think my walls are essentially solid oak, or solid dark oak, excuse me, and then just stripping the majority to make pillars. I think I'm just going to come up here to the uh, the mountains, and we'll we'll do a little bit of surface coal mining. Man, those guys jump! And we'll just get enough to smelt some iron. We might even mine a little bit of stone up here. Okay, we have. One stack and one of cobblestone and 54 coal. I'm gonna call that good for now. All right, so for the floor, I'm thinking wood of some kind. We can do dark oak, we can do oak. Those are my two wood options. There's of course cobblestone. We can do a cobblestone floor. But I think I might do a stone floor in the basement, so I want wood up here. So the question is just if we use up our oak. We're doing dark oak in the walls, so maybe the lighter colored oak inside might be nice. Yeah, I'm going to take that idea and I'm going to run with it. Let's pull our glass out. And I think I'm going to make some panes out of it to economize the resource and also to give a little dimension to my outer walls. So 
so they're not all solid blocks. So for today, that's where we sign off with our initial storage, bed, crafting, smelting, floor, walls, foundation, front steps, beginning of a pond farm for wheat, and a pond farm for sugarcane, and an awesome seed, and the beginning of a brand new world.